Hey fellow tennis nerds and welcome to the Head Gravity Racket review. The new line from Head Tennis have finally been revealed. Uh, I've been fortunate enough to play test three of the different models in the Gravity lineup. The MP, the Tour and the Pro versions. The MP I reviewed in my Head Prototype Racket review a while back. So I don't deal with this one so much in this review. But I have been testing the retail versions of the Gravity Pro and the Gravity Tour. This is kind of the first impressions of these rackets. I've been playing with them for about two weeks so I've got some hours in on the court but I hope to get more and to play around a bit more with the string selection. So the head gravity line has been hyped up quite a bit with the marketing lingo, new force, new game, the force is coming, it sounds a bit like something out of Star Wars. It's all marketing of course uh, but what's really behind their new racket line is uh, a technology called head graphene 360 plus. I don't exactly know what that is at the moment but I would guess that it's uh, some kind of foam filling or dampening inside the frame because the head gravity racket doesn't feel quite as hollow as some of the new head graphene 360 rackets. Uh, they're all good rackets, I really like them, but the plush feel of the head gravity feels quite new compared to the rest. So there's definitely something different going on here besides the more rounded head shape. Also, I think if I would put the head gravity line, uh, it's kind of in between the radical and the prestige in terms of um, power spin so they're a bit easy to use than the prestige and closer to the radicals I would say but it has a more unique feel compared to the rest of the head lineup so I tested um, the pro and the tour and I can show you the different specs here all the head gravity rackets are 100 square inch head size standard length then if they differ a bit in weight and beam width the head gravity pro has 315 grams unstrung so quite of a player spec balance is 30 31.5 centimeters uh, beam width is 20 millimeters so nice and thin string pattern is 1820 so you get a bit more control with the pro compared to the mp which is 1620 the tour version on the other hand weighs 10 grams less than the pro uh, 305 grams on strong balance of 32 centimeters so they compensate by adding more weight in the head compared to the pro version beam width is a slightly thicker 22 millimeters so you get a bit more free power with this version version and string pattern is 1820. The MP that I reviewed a week back or so it's 295 grams, balance is more towards 33 centimeters, beam width is 22 millimeters and string pattern is 1620. So these are the different rackets I've tested. There will also be a head gravity S and a head gravity MP light and a head gravity light as far as I'm aware but I haven't yet reviewed them and I'm not sure if I will. Uh, hopefully I can because I really like these three rackets. So when it comes to the head gravity line they brag about the massive sweet spot this comes from the more rounded head shape which reminds me a bit of a head ig extreme pro uh, 2.0 it's a really nice uh, racket it was a bit too round for my liking it's not as extreme with the head gravity it's not it's similar to a prince phantom but not all the way there the rounded head shape really seems to expand the sweet spot a bit similar to what yonex does with their isometric um, head shape when you talk about sweet spot i also want to point out that the sweet spot, the traditional meaning of a sweet spot is means the optimal position in the racket head to hit the ball. That does not really vary much between different rackets, but in marketing lingo and in the way it's used with modern rackets, it's more of a sweet area, so it's it's more forgiveness, more margin for error on off-center hits. So it's not, not really quite the sweet spot because that's very much the same, like the best area to hit the racket, it doesn't differ that much, but the area and the margin for error on off-center hits uh, is different. And that's what uh, the whole industry talks about sweet spot but it's not really correct in my opinion but I will still stick to that phrase because that's what's uh, used uh, globally so I, I really like the head gravity MP when I tested that one but the extra weight and slightly tighter pattern of the tour and the pro just seemed to work a bit better for my game the slice was uh, was was better for sure I got the, the extra power really helped me on serve I really felt like I could hit a big serve with the gravity pro with my uh, technique I tested these two different rackets the tour and the pro uh, 
I used Headhawk Touch in the Tour and I kept the factory string in the Pro just for an experiment. So it's a fresh poly in the Tour and a factory string in the Pro and as you might know factory strings they're not usually recommended to be still in the racket. It's more there for kind of a visual thing or if you're a beginner you like to just get any string. Usually they're not the best strings but a good sign of how much I liked the Pro version was that I still really played some decent tennis with the factory string and I still really liked the racket. The heft, the control is all right uh, at home for me so I felt like I could direct the ball with pretty good pace. I had some control and especially good control for a hundred square inch racket. It was great on serves, slice, decent top spin, very comfortable feel, no issues with the arm here and it worked well even when you flat out the ball which is helps for my game. I tend to play quite aggressive and move towards the net as often as I can. My hitting partner, a young German player who's a better player than me, tried the tour and the pro. He, he liked them both but he prefers the tour I think mainly because he's used to playing with a blade 98, 16, 19 and he felt the weight, the bit less static weight and more weight in the head was more to his liking. But these are definitely good rackets, I can already say that. If we would compare the different rackets in the series, the ones I've tested, Head Gravity Pro is the heaviest racket, more control, higher swing weight, more plow through, slightly thinner beam, gives you a bit more feel in my opinion, very nice on drop shots. It's a bit tougher to swing obviously because you have more weight, but if you're an advanced player this will not be a problem because it's still quite uh, low compared to some other sticks. Nice soft feel on impact, uh, still decent power and not even close to a pure drive obviously, but this is a more forgiving player racket, that's how I would put it. A racket for an advanced player who can create their own pace, does not really require any customization. My specs strung were 335 grams and a 32.5 centimeter balance, which is close to perfect for me, so I didn't feel like I had any need to add some lead tape or bring up the stability. So this head Gravity Pro is really a contestant for the next racket of choice for me. Kind of between this one and the, the Prince I tested recently, two excellent frames. I really love playing with them and I will play with them more and, and try to figure out uh, which one I should switch to. There are obviously more rackets coming, so who knows but what will top them, but for now these are two excellent frames. Head Gravity Tour plays quite close to the Pro with a bit less weight in the handle and in weight in, in general. Thicker beam for slightly more power. I think this is an easy transition for someone coming from a blade or a Technifiber T-Fight XTC 305. Lower static weight, more weight in the head to compensate. Plays more stable than its weight. I prefer the heft of the Pro, but this one plays quite close and it's a really nice racket too. The Head Gravity MP that I tried before has a more open pattern and a lower weight, so much easier to swing. Quite easy racket to play with for intermediate players. Better topspin than the other two. Not as good on control obviously and does not have the stability of the tour in the pro but still a nice racket for advanced players as well with just a bit of customization perhaps. Definitely more spin friendly and a good choice for a wider group of players. These three rackets, really nice, all of them. I really gelled with the Pro. I think Head has made a step in the right direction. Nothing wrong with their Graphene 360 rackets. I did not like the pre-360 Graphene racket so much, but they, I think they're, they're moving in the right direction and the gravity is the biggest step they've made so far. It's more towards the kind of Head rackets of old and uh, more nice plush feel. It feels like they're filled with some dampening stuff that actually doesn't take away any of the feel or makes it too damp and you really have a connection with the tennis ball with these rackets. Really easy to take the Pro into a tournament with its 330 swing weight and play without any customization. So I, I have really hard time to fault these rackets, play, play nice on volleys, serves, slice shots, good top spin. You just have to choose which one of the bunch is more up to you uh, when it comes to the weight and balance and the, the beam weight. But this is a great job from head, really nice new line of rackets. The design is always subjective. I know a lot of people knock the design. Some really love it. I'm, I'm more on the side of being very positive about it. I think it's something fresh, something new. The neon colors look quite different from other rackets. Also like the red and the green on different sides of the frame. So I think that's a cool new feature. So uh, simply a really nice frame. Slots nicely in between the Radical and the Prestige lines and possibly my favorite new head racket. So top notch 
job. I hope to give you an even more detailed review at some point, but these are my first impressions. Two thumbs up for the head gravity line of brackets. Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, I really appreciate all the comments you're uh, giving us on YouTube and Instagram and Facebook and Twitter. Please also check out our Patreon page at patreon.com slash tennis nerd, where you can support tennis nerd for only two bucks and you get some unique content every week. We have a blog there that's a bit of a different, more personal take than the standard tennisnerd.net stuff. So thanks again and have a nice day and I hope you get to play some tennis.
ਕਰਦੇ ਹੋ ਇਹਨੂੰ